The original dream of the field of artificial intelligence was to create a machine that can do basically everything that humans can do. And that has turned out to be a really hard problem. So in the meantime, we've created machines that are as good as humans or better at very specific things like chess or arithmetic or driving cars. And so many people now are working on the original dream of AI of creating a machine that can do everything that humans can. Uh, it's going to be a very hard problem, but it looks doable because cognitive science has discovered that everything the human mind does is done by information processing, and machines can do information processing too. Many people don't realize how integrated into our society artificial intelligence is already. Many of our medical diagnoses are happening with artificial intelligence. Anytime you're doing pretty much anything on the internet, artificial intelligence systems are doing some of the work there. And so artificial intelligence is just part of everything that we do now. As artificial intelligence uh, becomes more and more progressed, we're going to have AI systems that do more and more, and it's going to become more and more important, especially when we have artificial intelligence systems that are as capable in the world as humans are. Computers, of course, are already much better than humans at several things, like arithmetic, playing Scrabble, playing chess, and even recognizing road signs and uh, detecting breast cancer from images. In the future, we'll see computers becoming better than humans are at driving cars and playing other types of games, maybe even doing certain kinds of research autonomously. Uh, it's not clear to me that there will be anything that humans do that machines can't do better. When we try to think about what will be the effects on the world of the first greater than human artificial intelligence, it looks like by default we get a greater than human intelligence that does things that we don't want. The reason for this is that there is a very large space of possibilities for the design of an AI, and almost all of them will steer the future somewhere that we don't want to go. There is somewhere in that large space of possible mind designs a mind design that we would want steering the future, but it's very hard to locate, and in fact it looks like we have to invent new math in order to use it. It's very difficult to predict how far we are away from building a superhuman AI. And in fact, you basically just shouldn't trust the experts at all on this one. We actually gathered the data, and experts are terrible at predicting when AI will happen. So the best that we can do is look at various trends, extrapolate certain technologies. Uh, there's the whole field of probability theory relating to how probable an event is given other events. And we have to probably develop new tools if we want to be better at predicting AI.